Hi. Hi, Lisa Moss. How are How's you? It it's a big day today. It is a big day today. I'm really excited. In a little bit, we're going to have uh, Tim Hollick from Jazz Pharmaceuticals and Greg Grumberg and Emily Fan joining us. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a great hour. It's going to be a lot of fun and so excited. Very exciting. And the fundraising just keeps going and going and going. So I literally have refreshed three, four times this morning. <laughs> and we are up to 572,800. It's really exciting. People are really beginning to pour it on. And I, I know our community has that little competitive edge. Mm -hmm. So they're going to want to like win first, second, third fundraising prize. Last year, it was pretty funny to see that come to life. Just like you and I compete in the auction. In the auction. Have you been looking at the auction items? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Have you bid? Are you, are you outbidding me already? Well, I I got on as soon as it as soon as it opened up. I got on and started putting my bids in, and um, and then I just bid on everything I was interested in, and I think I was in for like twelve hundred dollars or something, and I was like, oh, hope I get outbid on some of these. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went in and bid on eight items, and as I told you yesterday, the Christy Klein pictures paintings are always my favorite. I've bid on both of them, so oh, you outbid um, me on one then. All right, and there's a really nice like whiskey appreciation basket for dads for Father's Day, which is really awesome. Yeah, um, and I'm always in for the jewelry, as I know you are too. So we'll yes, see. yes, I did get a pair of the TSC awareness earrings. Did nice. you get one of the? They have a few of those available, and those are just a click and click, and it's yours. So yeah, oh, so if you want those, you got to rush in and 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 uh, a bit on those. I bid on, um, I also bid on, there was a, a quilt and pillow sham set that was kind of teal blue and some other colors. I bid on that for um, my daughter. So she goes, to see if she wants it for college for next year. So if I win, it's going off to college with her. And, uh -huh. and I bid on the cheese platter for Evan because he's a big cheese head. So yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> well, if anybody wants to take a look at the auction, you can link to it from the step forward to cure tsc.org page. We encourage you to get on there. Go to also our virtual exhibit hall for our sponsors. Yep, that's right. And the other thing that's cool is you can put your phone number in when you sign up for the auction and it keeps telling you when you're outbid. So um, my phone's been like binging all, all morning with- I with, just um, got two of those. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice, you can keep track of it. That's right, that's right. So other news today? Other news today. Um, is there other news today? I can't think of well, any. Well, we, we continue to um, look at the World Conference and- yes early bird rate coming up on June 1st. That is right. That is right. And so hopefully people will register quickly and make their plans. And um, there's the hotel discounted rate too, which is awesome. And at the Anatole, they have that cool water park that everybody can hang out at on the, you know, off times. And that is pretty, pretty wonderful. Um, you know, I think um, we've been, how many world conferences have you been to, Kari? It's been a lot of them. I've been to four and this four. will be my fifth. Okay, all right. And do you have, you, yesterday you asked me my favorite world conference memory. Do you have a favorite? Oh my gosh, I have, I have many favorite memories. Um, my first conference is when I met the very first families with, with TSC. Um, and that holds a really special place in my heart. I'm just going to share a couple because those were yeah. the highlights, really. Yeah. The, the first few families that I met and watching, like you with, with Chris Hockey, watching kids on the dance floor just being kids, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
last, our last conference in 2018, we had an art for a cure and it was really awesome to see the pride of the children and the adults who had created art pieces that were highlighted at the conference and then celebrated um, by an auction and purchasing them. And, and that was, that was really cool. The ceremony where we handed out um, the top art awards was really cool because we incorporated individuals with TSC in bringing the, um, in, in making those awards. So that was, that was really cool. And then on a staff side in the 2014 conference in DC, we actually had a, a staff dinner afterwards and we invited our families because we had all spent and sacrificed a lot of time in putting the, the conference together. And we asked everybody to share their, their favorite moment um, from the staff perspective, from a family perspective, mm -hmm. who were very moved by the experience. And like my kid who's graduating high school this year, it was like the, the first time I heard him stand up and give a speech about as, um, as a teen, young teenager at that time, the experience, or not even a teenager, the experience of witnessing what it meant to families, to see families come together. And that kids are just kids, whether they have TSC or not. And um, I don't know, that just sticks with my soul. That's cool, that's great. Yeah, there's so many different, um, so many different memories and thanks for sharing those. I remember a lot of those. and. Um, there's so, there's so many great things that happened in that, that jam packed few days that, um, I always feel like it's so emotional and, um, heartwarming at the same time afterwards. So, and we couldn't do it without our sponsors, you know, that we have so much support and we're so grateful for that. Do you want to, do you want to share our sponsors? I will share, you're talking about our walk national sponsors, correct? Our walk, oh, our walk national sponsors. You're right. You're right. So this walk is impossible without Marinus Pharmaceuticals, Jazz Pharmaceuticals, Nobel Pharma, Ovid Therapeutics, UCB Inc., Upshur, Smith Laboratories, LLC, Mass Mutual Special Care, and Bridge Bio. But our world conference certainly would not be possible without our title sponsor, and that they happen to be with us today. That's right. That's right. Jazz Pharmaceuticals. And I think I had jazz on my mind. That's why I started thinking right, right ahead about those World Conference sponsors. And um, we're so grateful. And I'd like to welcome um, um, Jazz Pharmaceuticals. They identify their purpose to innovate and transform the lives of patients and their families. They're focused on developing life-changing medications for people with serious diseases often with limited or no options. So they can live their lives more fully. And by transforming biopharmaceutical discoveries into novel medicines, they're working to give people around the world the opportunity to redefine what's possible and to make the small wins big again. It's an amazing company. We're so happy to have them here. Tim, I hope you're gonna be joining us in just a moment and uh, um, we've got some questions for you. Hi, Tim. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Tim. And here we are. <clears throat> and here we are. Very, very great to have you here. I'm uh, very good. You look like you were frozen for just a moment. Thank you. But... Thank you for having me, Lisa and Kari. It's a pleasure. Well, thank you for being here. You know, to start off, can you tell us just a little bit about yourself and your role at Jazz Pharmaceuticals? So hopefully I'm coming in. Um, Technical difficulties with live shows. Yes. <laughs> hey, Tim, there you go. Maybe um, you could just talk if the video is taking up too much bandwidth. Okay. So, uh, yes. yeah, do you, do you guys uh, have me here? I'm sorry. It's always you're in a hotel and it says your internet uh, connection is unstable. That you, uh, in our Zoom world, we all worry that I'm not able to be in the office because we're traveling in Chicago this week. But thank you, Kari and uh, Lisa, for having me. 
A hundred percent. I think Lisa asked you a question. Um, Lisa, do you want to restate? Yeah, that? I was just wondering if you could tell us just a little bit about yourself sure. and your role at Jazz Pharmaceuticals. Sure. Well, um, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Tim Hollock, and I've spent a lot of time in marketing in various conditions from thyroid cancer, cardiovascular and metabolic disorders, and several neurologic conditions, which is what I do at Jazz now. I'm responsible for our patient and caregiver marketing for one of our newer products that I get to work in conjunction with wonderful foundations, just like the TS Alliance. And I couldn't be happier to be with you today. Excellent. Hey, Tim, you just attended your very first Comedy for a Cure, where Jazz Pharmaceuticals was also the headliner sponsor. So that night had so many, so many elements to it. But what was your favorite part? Uh, I, I, your host, Jim and Wendy did a great job and all the performers kind of one after the other, they all did a fantastic um, job. You we either laughing or you're crying or you, we were listening to music. Um, and I thought that was great. What I was really touched by in that in that hall that we we're in was just the generosity and the caring and the love that you could feel from all the attendees just pouring out their heart and that connection. Uh, that I know extends through the rest of the TSC community that you have out there. It was a, it was a fantastic and kind of a magical night, you know, the, the whole red carpet walking down. It was, uh, it was fun. And I appreciate uh, you allowing us to be a part of that. What I um, love about that event is whether you are one of our generous sponsors, you're a celebrity host, you're a staff member or attendee, you feel like family. It, it feels like family and we're all in it together. And that is what I think is so magical about that event. I completely agree. And, and um, I think our, our TSC community overall is very much like a family. And you know, you've had some opportunity to interact with um, the TSC community, Tim. And I'm wondering if you could share like what stands out for you about the TSC community? Sure, I appreciate that. Um, as you know, we work uh, with your foundation. Over the past few years, I've worked with many of the folks at your foundation, as well as some of the caregivers and people living with the condition of TSC um, that we do work with. And it never ceases to amaze and passionate and giving. Everybody is in the community. You're, you're, you're in it together, and no one's story is alike. Uh, and you were there for us in the very beginning. We were at Greenwich Biosciences, now Jazz, to really help us understand that this is an area which we did not have a lot of experience in. And you helped us really understand what the families in your community go through every day. And I can tell you, on behalf of our organization, we greatly appreciate you helping to orientate, orient us to really understand what's important for the caregivers and those living with TSC in your um, community. Well, Lisa knows that so well, living as a, a caregiver, obviously. Yeah. And yes, I, yeah, absolutely. And, and and Evan, the little cheese head, right? And so uh, <laughs> it's good, good to see him. Uh, where, where were we at AES? At AES, yes. <laughs> I, I just truly appreciate that, Tim, that you listen to the patient voice and have taken so much time to highlight families living with TSC and having, you know, just talking with them, sharing their stories. It, re it really, really means a lot. As you heard Lisa and I talk in the intro, we are, of course, holding our World TSC Conference this summer. And Jazz, of course, is the title sponsor, and you'll be there. And we wanted to share with our audience what kind of activities you have planned. Oh, I think you're uh, on me. Oh, there you go. Let's yeah, so we're excited to be a participant because it gives us a chance to introduce what was Greenwich Bioscience is being integrated into Jazz as part of um, our, our launch of the organization this year. We're featuring Unspoken Symphony. So again, that's a platform for those that can't have a voice, we can use artwork to express themselves. And so uh, we have that that we're launching at, in the kids camp and the teens lounge. Uh, we'll be proud to uh, announce our Living With magazine, which there's one of our contributors there, right uh, <laughs> on page two. So uh, everybody, um, 
Well, hopefully you'll stop by uh, the booth, get a cup of coffee with us. Uh, we're also going to host a reception for a lot of the speakers that are there. So uh, we're trying to get as involved and active as possible. And I really appreciate on behalf of the organization our, our chance to um, collaborate with you on that wonderful and very large conference at the end of July. Well, we so appreciate your support. And it's been, it's been great talking with your team about what we're going to do together at the conference and all of your plans. And we're, we're so excited. And we know you'll be there in force. And we're thrilled <laughs> for that as well. Um, you, you know, you've also taken a real interest in, in caregivers, um, as, you know, Kari said, and, um, you know, it, an even bigger interest. And, you know, we know that you um, also brought uh, Greg Grumberg with you, but I'd love for you to kind of talk about that interest in caregivers, the project you're working on, intro, and I'll kick it to you to introduce Greg. Sure. Well, thank you very much. Um, as as we as our organization know that caregivers play a very important role for a lot of the loved ones or those living with conditions like PSC. And so we set out to create a series about caregivers for caregivers from other caregivers. And so we had to find families and connect with them. And it's done a fantastic job. And I'd like to introduce our partner in this great endeavor, Greg Grunberg. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. We've got to get you a faster internet. I'm, I'm, let's, let's, can we make that an auction item? Yes. Getting, uh, <laughs> <laughs> upgrade to the suite, Tim. Upgrade to the suite. There's faster <laughs> internet. Uh, thank you. Tim is frozen and I hope he's laughing right now. There he is. There he is. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't be more thrilled with what we're doing. Uh, so for, for, for those that are sitting here going, wait, wait, what is the caregiver, the caregiver series, if you go to the caregiver series.com, you'll see, I've been screaming about this. I mean, Kari, I've been, I, I've, I've loved you and, and TSC for so long. And, um, I've always been, looking for ways to talk to other caregivers, talk to other patients. You know, our, our oldest son has epilepsy and um, he, you know, he's one of the difficult to treat uh, cases, you know, as far as uh, finding the right balance of medications and treatments and everything. And, uh, and you feel so lonely. I know we keep hammering this point, but it's just so true is you just, we had no experience with epilepsy. We didn't know anything about it. And Jake started having seizures when he was seven. He's 26 now. So we've gone through, you know, this, what I call the car wash or the roller coaster of it and the ups and downs. And there, you know, the little moments are huge. You appreciate so much more of every day of every moment um, that, you know, when Jake wakes up and he doesn't have a seizure, we're just, it's, it's like, oh, this great day, you know, these, these, that becomes a big milestone. <clears throat> and I created talkaboutit.org a long time ago because I realized there's a stigma associated with epilepsy and seizures and, um, and rare forms, especially rare forms of, of seizure conditions. And so um, talkaboutit.org, I enlisted all the help of all these celebrities. And uh, for years, um, Ken Lowenberg and, and Phil Gatone and I, through the foundation and now through, through um, you know, Talk About It, we have been, just been doing this, trying to engage people, trying to educate, trying to remove the stigma. I started a podcast um, a couple of years ago called Talk About It, and that's been incredible. It's great, great guests on both, you know, doctors and nurses and, and patients and people that are really making a difference um, and thriving in, uh, in the community. Um, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, Jazz wants to do this caregiver series. They want me involved. It was such a perfect match because caregivers, it's interesting. What I found, so what it is, is I, we, I travel the country thanks to Jazz and, and Tim. Tim and I are like, you know, Laverne and Shirley uh, <laughs> traveling across the country. We, we, I meet other caregivers and hear, hear their stories. And no two stories are the same. But what is the same is that we, we just want the best for these people in our lives, the family members. We, we, you know, we just want them to thrive. And I've been learning so much. I mean, selfishly, I know I'm doing a good thing. I'm hosting this, but I'm getting so much more out of this than I ever imagined. These people are so wonderful. Um, to go back uh, to at the beginning, you know, they, they're like, well, when Jake was first diagnosed, we're so lost. And it's like, well, talk to somebody. 
So, you know, there's groups out there and, 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 and they're wonderful, but there was this, we were reticent. We were, we were hesitant to, to actually speak to people because when you do talk to somebody, they're like, Oh, I've been seizure free for 25 years. And you're like, well, that's not our situation. And then you, you talk to someone else and, and that, that, unfortunately they're in a terrible situation and and you're like well we're only having this many and we're str-. so you never at that time we were like well, i'm not finding that mirror i'm not finding that person that's exactly like us you don't have to that's not what it's about trust me it, and and you'll find that in the caregiver series I, these people are wonderful the other thing about being a caregiver is we don't want recognition. You know, people say the one thing I hate to hear. And I mean, you guys, Lisa, I mean, you guys can attest to this is um, when someone goes, uh, God, you're doing such a great job. You're the best parents ever. How do you do it? And it's like, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> this is what I do. This is, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I love my family. I love my boys. I love my son. So there's, you know, you don't want that. All you want to do is re- you want to switch places with them in the worst of times. And mm-hmm. so, or, and, and, you know, just take care of them but it's okay to get an attaboy. It's okay to get a pat on the back. It's okay to be appreciated. You need that. And you also need a moment to take a break. So in the series, what we do is we literally take that, that caregiver, uh, you know, Leslie, for example, we just launched her episode uh, yesterday. She loved art. She loves art. She loves painting, but she hasn't, she's put that off for a long time. So I take her, we take her to this great art space and we have an art therapist and sort of talking to us and we're just, you know, who cares? We're sitting there doing art. We're laughing we're, we're, and we're crying. And it's the same feeling I got at, at, you know, at comedy, which is, which is what, how I'm trying to get back to how, why I love you guys so much. And I, and I really appreciate you inviting me here. I mean, Tim dragged me here, but I, I was, I was already ahead of him going, no, I'm dragging you here. <laughs> I love TSC. I love everything about it. When, when I was there the other night, I know I popped in. I, my schedule was tough. But like Tim said, it's, it is incredible. And people can say this. Organized organizations can say it. They're like, oh, we're all one big family. There's, I've never experienced it. When, when our band played Cure, you know, a comedy a, a, long, a long time ago, I noticed it. But it gets stronger and stronger every year. Like you're on stage and you feel like you're in a living room. I mean, that was a big place. You had a lot of people. Let's, you guys know how to throw a party, but, <laughs> but it, it was like, I mean, it, it's the feeling that you get when you meet someone else who's going through a similar situation. And I, I meet it, you know, I get it all the time. I get it in elevators. I get it places. I get that sort of fight club nod, you know, where it's like, thanks for what you do. And I think they're talking about me in Star Wars. And yet, no, they're talking about the work that I'm doing. And you immediately become best friends. It's like, and you're all best friends. And, and I'm sure some of you can't stand each other. I, I, that is, has to be the case. I don't think so. I don't Come on. Either. I mean, I felt so much, so <laughs> much love in that room. And, and I, it was just wonderful. And it's like every organization... First of all, Kari, forget about it. You're like, you're, you're nuts. You're out of your mind. You're so great at what, at, at this. You really are. I mean, I, I tell my wife all the time, I'm like, I, I, like every organization needs to have you, but it, it's, it, it's just the fact that, that everybody feels this way and instantly feels this way. I hadn't been to a comedy event in a long time and I, I get there and, and it's just the, the more, you know, and that's the same feeling, by the way, that I get from jazz working with them on this project. And I know I'm, it seems like I'm just kissing up to everybody here, but I'm not. I, 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 I really need it. It's okay. Yeah. We like, I know, we exactly. Mind. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> but, I can't thank you enough for always sharing your story to heighten awareness of epilepsy and the caregiver journey and just being so vulnerable yourself. At, at Comedy, Jim O'Hare was interviewing you because we tried to do this living room style interview. He's awesome. Isn't he amazing? Like, oh my God. And we got off stage and we were like, how have we never met? Like, this is crazy. That guy works all the time. I do too. We're both big guys. I'm like, I don't understand. But, you know, but uh, he's wonderful, wonderful guy. And he has just given so much of his heart, the way you give of your heart Mm -hmm. to elevate the TSC community, to, to shine a light on TSC, which is a rare disease 
and epilepsy being, you know, we're the largest genetic cause of epilepsy. Yeah. So yeah. that's the, the things that, that we have in common. And we you, just, you guys, you, you also take an ownership in it. Like it's something that we've taught Jake over the year. And, you know, obviously he's a grown man now. He's, he's got a great job. He's, you know, all the, he's, he's thriving. Um, but he, we, you know, we've always tried to instill that he has epilepsy. Epilepsy doesn't have him. And all we want to do is control our lives. I'm a control freak. And we all are, especially when there's something out of your control, like seizures, TSC, any, anything. It's like, okay, what can I do? You know, what, what, how can I be, um, you know, proactive instead of just reactive? How can I take control of this situation in some way? And that's why, you know, I do everything I can, you know, but I can't do it without support. I can't, I can't come on and tell people about, yeah, I can't stand, I can, I probably do stand in the backyard and just go watch the caregiver series. Trust <laughs> me. But you guys to have me here and, and just let, let everybody know again, you know, how passionate I am and how, how much I love doing this. Um, and we have more, uh, they just announced or they just called me and told me we're doing uh, two more families. So we're setting that up. We're going to go shoot those and uh and cut those together but it's a, they've got such a great team um you know patrick and and everybody at at uh at jazz and at tim i mean you know even frozen he's adorable i have to say <laughs> there he is there he is uh but no it's it's just been it's been wonderful really a wonderful journey i hope it keeps going and you know i hope people get as much out of it as i'm getting for sure. That's amazing. I, it's, I am so excited about this project. I think um, I really love talk about it. And I think this is like really the next step yeah. and um, really excited to see what you're doing. And, and you had a TSC family on um, one of your um, uh, caregiver series. Am, am I right about that? Yeah, we, well, Tim, uh, you can talk to that. It's Leslie. Leslie. Sure, yeah. sure. Uh, Leslie's a member of your community. And Leslie and Kelly, we just dropped those now that I'm in Hollywood. Uh, we dropped those first two episodes the other day, and we're going to schedule uh, the episode three and four in a couple of weeks. So that's up on the caregiverseries.com on the YouTube page that you can see. Uh, and we, we, we pushed it knowing that we had this uh, uh, call with you guys. We pushed nice. it and we were able to get the, the, those two episodes out so people can yeah, and, for and I have to say, Leslie is that family is amazing. Kelly yeah. is adorable. She's, we had a, such a wonderful time. The other thing is, you know, they're, they're letting us into the, into their house. You know, it's like, it's not just me and my phone. I mean, we have a, a crew. It's not big crew. We try to be as, you know, uh, not, not disrupt too much, but Leslie is just incredible. I mean, she's, she's more camera savvy than I am. She was wonderful. And, you know, we, we'd set a great time. People will really enjoy it. So you have, please check out those episodes. They just, two of them just dropped. Yeah. So Leslie from Seattle, just a, a powerhouse. Um, when we were talking about the world conference, I have to tell you this little story, Greg, she emails me and she said, we got to get Greg to the world conference. He's my new best friend. I, te I text him. It was so cute. I'm like, that's so awesome. That He's also, Leslie's so creative and like everything in that house, Tim, if you remember, everything in that house, there's nothing just that's, it's so beautifully done. She has such great taste. Everything is so cool. You know, she's like very artistic and the whole family. And, and there were these monkeys. Um, remember the, the monkeys, the toy monkeys, that, that little plastic ones that they latch um, barrel of monkeys thing. There was oh, this right. art, this art thing on the wall. And I, and I, I made a painting and I gave it to them. And then, but, and then all of a sudden I get this gift. She sent the monkeys. We have them up in our kitchen. Oh and, my God. and and in the spirit of me never letting anybody go, I mean, any celeb I work with that, that has a soul and a heart and they all say, what can I do to help? And so I have this army. That's what talk about it really is. We have got this army of celebrities that are waiting to help and God forbid they ever, you know, uh, are part of our community. I hope they don't, they don't, you know, get affected, but at the same time, they're there to help. Um, it, it's it's like I, I immediately it, it, she, we we just become best friends like like you said she is yeah. a powerhouse um, <laughs> and and just so super creative so she was a perfect perfect match for the show you know I love that um, we want to talk a little bit about about your journey and why you feel it's so important for loved ones to advocate for their loved ones what yeah well I mean so. 
it's all about knowledge, right? Um, we learned that early on. Everybody thinks they know what to do when you see someone have a seizure. Everybody thinks they they can they understand it, but they uh, they're they're basing it on you know experience that they've had uh, in elementary school. I saw, saw some kid have a seizure or whatever, and things are evolving and changing so quickly. And no two cases are the same. So I've when when Jake started having seizures, you know, at seven. Um, he started just like kind of, we noticed him just kind of zoning out. He had a little Epson seizures, staring spells, and we told the doctor, and then that began our journey. And we saw a neurologist, realized we've got to get to an epileptologist and then a pediatric epileptologist. And there was so much that we didn't know. I turned to the foundations and man, were they helpful, just incredibly helpful. Uh, I did keep hearing over and over again. Um, I wish people would talk about this more, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. And that's why I you know, bought the, bought the domain name and, and talk about it.org and started that whole thing. Um, but, but our journey was such that you, the, the scared, you know, the apprehension that people have, you know, to, to, well, I, I don't know what to do. I wouldn't know. What, it's just because they don't know that this is incredibly common, unfortunately. And there are very simple things that you just need to know to keep people, someone safe. I'll do in services, you know, for, uh, we did it throughout Jake's uh, education and, or at, when he played little league or Taekwondo, I went and I spoke to everybody and just said, Hey, I, I know you think you know what to do, but let me just go through this. And inevitably even teachers, nurses at the school would be like, Oh, I didn't know that. I wow. had no idea about that. Yeah. Because there's such misinformation go on eBay. They're still selling what they call seizure sticks to stick in their mouth. They're selling them. I mean, like, you're like, what are you talking about? This is an industry. Like, it's so bad. We, I was on the set of Heroes, the show that I did. And one of the grips had a, uh, he, he, he didn't have epilepsy, but he had um, his, his sugar level he was off. And so he, he diabetes, diabetic seizure and he started having a seizure. I ran over, everybody else scattered. I ran over and an EMT comes and is trying to stick his wallet in his mouth. An EMT. Oh my. who was off duty. And I'm like, man, what we have, doing? yeah, we have a long way to go to educate people. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. I just, you know, over and over again, I realized I've got to do something. And <clears throat> when I go on talk shows, uh, you know, I, I'm on Ellen and it's like, okay, I'm talking about heroes. And then inevitably the question is, so what else is going on? What else do you have going on? And those platforms, those opportunities are just too great to not give exposure, understanding, educate, uh, direct people to the right place. And then, you know, the thing is our community, we learn it's trial by fire, right? We learn how to, how to deal with our situation and others very quickly. We learn compassion immediately. Um, it's getting outside the community that is really important so that everybody knows. For me, my mission, another part of my uh, mission, which Tim and I have talked about is educating Hollywood. Like I want to have, I want to do a you know, kind of a summit every year and just let creators, big creators talk to, talk to us and say, all right, so if we're dealing with seizures, if we're doing that, if I have this scene, if there's a, what can I joke about? What can I not joke about? What's offensive? What's not, you know, let's talk about it before, just so they have a, something in their head. Um, and if we, all we have to do is give them a bagel or a sandwich and they'll show up. I mean, I guarantee it. I, I you know, I, uh, I show up for a bagel or a sandwich, uh, but it's, it's just getting ahead of it, you know, and, and, and educating everyone and, and just, and talking about it. So that's why I enlisted the help of all the celebrities, because, if you're a fan of Jennifer Garner, you're going to go to the website. If you're a fan of Hugh Laurie, if you're a fan of, you know, John Mayer, go to the site and then, oh, John's talking about epilepsy. Oh, I didn't know that or seizures or what to do. So that's what we're doing. And we're expanding and the website um, just got revamped. And, and so I encourage people to check that out. And we're working on, you know, Ken Lowenberg's amazing and he's working on different ways of, of, um, user generated stuff so that people can engage and stuff. I've also been doing, um, Twitter spaces. Um, and I've been doing them sort of, you know, haphazardly just kind of popping up going, Hey, let's talk about epilepsy. Let's talk about seizures. And it's incredible. All of a sudden, boom, it lights up and I'll have, you know, 50, 60, 70 people. I mean, it's not thousands of people, but that's a lot of people to immediately be talking about something that would normally be really scary. And you want to talk, and I'm talking about from all over the world. Yeah. So we're going to be doing that regularly. Um, not regularly, but on a basis where people can know about it just to get people talking, man, you know, that's, that's really what it's all about. Um, it, it's, it's interesting because 
sadly, I don't want it to become something that's just so commonplace because we want to find a cure for all this stuff. Okay. But it, while, you know, until that happens, because it's not going to be one cure, it's obviously going to be very you know, different, different cures and different things. But while that's happening, you know, you look at, at the people around us that are, you know, and, and majority of them just living well, are extraordinary people uh, who have incredible amount of compassion and potential, and they're reaching that potential. And if other people don't understand what you're going through, that's on them. That's not on us. That's on them. We're, we're making it as easy as possible. And they just have to educate themselves. Hopefully they'll let us do that. Um, but, you know, when you hear a caregiver's story, when you hear someone else's story, man, it's, it's just, it, we're all, we've all got something. How about that? We're not alone and we all have something. So it's very uh, uplifting, inspiring to hear how other people are just living their lives and living, living, living it well. And that's what we're trying to highlight on the series. That's amazing. It's so it's so um, incredible. Also, how you um, you know you have this you have a high profile um, lifestyle, and people know you, and you're you have access to media the way the average family um, living with epilepsy doesn't. And I love that you're using that voice in this way. And I'd also love to hear, you also have this great positivity. You're always so upbeat. How do you, how do you maintain that? How do you stay so positive? Um, this is a, <laughs> no. Hey, whatever it takes. <laughs> it's empty. It's empty. <laughs> whatever it takes. <laughs> no, um, you know, it's my, I mean, Elizabeth, I got to give credit, you know, to, to my, amazing uh better half you know she's the greatest mom in the world and uh and I've just always been raised that way I mean my you know this Mother's Day reminded me I was sitting with my my parents my dad's uh, 90 this year my mom's 82 and and they've just always been like okay well you know what tomorrow's another day tomorrow's another day you know just be positive um and they they taught me lessons you, you know a long time ago I spoke about it I think at comedy where um, and I didn't realize that I was going to use them, use these little tricks, but like we did special nights back when we were kids. This doesn't answer your question about positivity, but it's just like, <laughs> I was thinking about my mom and it's like special nights, three of us, my older brother, younger sister. And they would say, okay, Greg, tonight's your night to be, and my parents would just take me out. And where did I want to go? Bowling, you know, miniature golfing, like whatever it cost $3, but it didn't matter. I was alone with my parents. So cut to now where. Uh, or not, not now, but years ago when Jake would have these overnight EEGs, we'd go to the hospital, all this, stock, all this attention on him, right? And our other two boys, we have three kids, our other two boys, that special time with Jake, whether it's good or bad time, it's still a special time. Mm -hmm. So they would say, and Ben said once, um, he said when he was like six, he said, man, I wish I had epilepsy. And I was like, man, that, that, that really hit us. And we realized, okay, and then all of a sudden I went, wait, special nights. This is, my parents did this without having an issue, you know? And so we started doing that. And then you have to have special nights with your, the child that has special needs. Going to the hospital is not a special night for him. You know, he doesn't want to do that. Right. So, and then you as a couple need special nights. So it's just, you know, I'm just reminded of little ways and tricks and ways and things that you can spin things into and make them positive. Um, I'm just always, a, I'm a ridiculously positive person. I just, I am, you know, to a fault. If I get an idea for something, I mean, Tim will tell you, I'll be like, Hey, what about this? Can we do this? And he's like, slow down. I need approval. We get, you know, but he certainly tries Legal to make it compliance. happen. Legal and compliance. Legal and compliance. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I knew Emily Pham was on here. I'm like, wait a minute. How do I get her in the band? She's incredible. You know, and I'm like, all of a sudden my mind gets, you know, starts going uh, like, let's do a concert. Let's do music videos with people in the TSC and epilepsy community. Let's do a music video. All these musicians, like, let's go. So That'd my mind, awesome. I never stop. I never stop, you know, um, creating and, and, and also, I love the idea of doing some sustainable that'll last, that'll yeah. keep going, that's evergreen. Mm -hmm. um, something like the caregiver. You're never going to run out of caregivers to highlight, you know, unfortunately, um, or people to talk to and talk about it or, um, you know, and, and uh, so anyway, the band, you know, my band for years, that was a, that's a revenue, it's all for charity. And that's it's right. something where we get up in front of thousands of people, huge events, and we play concerts. And every time, look, when we played, one of our first shows was, was comedy and we got off stage and we were like, we fooled these people. 
do they not know what bad music is? They unbelievable. But we had such a good time. We are a really good band, but at the same time, we're playing cover songs. We're there to support the cause. You know, we've done it for lupus. We've done it for cancer. We've done it for obviously epilepsy, TSC. I mean, we just, we're here to help. And, you know, in closing with you guys, I just, you know this, but I just want to let everybody out there that's, you know, in, in TSC world know we're here. Whether it's just, hey, Greg, and you've done this, you know, Kari, you've said, hey, Greg, can you just blast this out? We really need to let the world, I'm here, I'll do it. Yeah, I have this platform, but most of the stuff that I have to talk about is, it's exciting. The shows that I'm on, the movies I do, it's exciting, but it's not important in my mind. And, and this is important and I'm, I'm, I'm forever, I'll forever be here um, to help. And uh, luckily I've got support, you know, from Jazz and so do you and all these great sponsors that you have. But until, you know, it, I'll just always be here. I'll always be here. Thank you, Greg. We have a little surprise Lisa and I put together for you. Oh, no. A uh, little PowerPoint. Um, so lots of people may not know that you've been involved with us for a while. So Dan is going to put up this PowerPoint picture that we created just for you. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so uh, the picture on the right is you and I in 2008 and then just recently at Comedy for a Cure. Yep. Um, and then the pictures on the left are you and Lisa at an Epilepsy Foundation walk. Yeah. And then the picture of all of us together at an AES where, where you always come and help like bring, bring home that caregiver voice for, for industry and making sure that they're always paying attention to the Man, patient. I've been busy. I you have been, been busy. And Tim, we threw one interview too at, at comedy, just so you wouldn't feel left out. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, we know that um, we know that you're a very busy person. We wanted to close with one question we've been asking everybody, which yeah. is what three words would you use to describe the TSC community? Oh, uh, I'm going to have to repeat the same word three times. Love, love, love. Thank you. I love that. I love that. <laughs> it's true. Thank it's you. really true. We're really grateful. And boy, do we love you. Uh, I love you, you guys too. Everything. Oh, thank you. And, and again, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Whether I come with Tim or not, we don't need Tim. You know what I mean? He's all frozen up. He's, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we need Tim. We need Tim to spread away. We do. Oh, trust me. Everybody needs Tim. <laughs> But be careful what you ask for when you say that to me, because hey, I, hey, if I'm available, <laughs> schedule permitting, I'm here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Greg and Tim. We're so, Thank so you. grateful. And again, we want to highlight Leslie Fox and her family from Seattle are the highlighted, the, the just released caregiver series today or yesterday just dropped. So yep, everybody yep. check it out. You want to uh, give the what the site where they should go to again? Sure. It's thecaregiverseries.com um, or you can search on YouTube, uh, Greg Grunberg and Caregiver Series. But if you go to thecaregiverseries.com, it'll take you right there and, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to it or whatever. So you get the latest episodes and watch John's episodes were, you know, were on there and more to come. It's just, it's really, and they're small, they're short episodes and they're just great. Thank you so much. Thanks for all you do. And thank uh, you, Tim, for being such a thank great you. partner. Yes, thank you. Both. Thank you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Wow. What an great. interview. That was mind blowing. I know uh, it was great. And he's, He's always comes, uh, Greg always comes with that energy and that positivity. It just, um, he does exude it. He's probably, I see, I think he's right that he's probably positive to a fault, but, um, but love it, love it. And it was so nice to have Tim here too. It was great. I, I agree. Um, Jazz has been a great partner to us, obviously um, highlighting the caregiver journey, so important. Um, not only our title sponsor of the World Conference, but a really important headliner sponsor for us on Comedy for a Cure this year. And our next guest also was highlighted at Comedy for a Cure. She helped introduce our honoree. 
Um, so I'd love to bring Emily Fan on screen. She's a member of our Future Leader class this year. She is an adult living with TSD who has been giving back ever since she was a baby and participated in the UCLA clinical trial to use Vigabitrin to treat infantile spasms. She is a world-renowned classic pianist. She's played a comedy, uh, just blew my mind when she played at the end of comedy last fall. She was also featured in Newsweek with her inspiring story, and we'll make sure that we send out the link uh, to that story as well. Emily, welcome. We're so happy to have you with us today. Happy to be here. You are, um, you are, I, I love spending time with you. Your positivity is just, it, it's really incredible. Um, and I know that piano has always been part of your life. Um, but what role do you think it's played in your personal growth? In my personal growth, I would say from TSC, it caused me to have age development delay. So the piano helped me with my cognitive and fine motor skills delay. So I was able to overcome that because of piano. So to be who I am today. So that's the role that piano did. That's amazing. Go ahead, Kari. I was going to say, it's truly amazing. And in a prior interview with you, I remember you said you had five piano teachers, one for every day of the week. That, that really helped in, in overcoming those obstacles. Mm -hmm. And while you play so beautifully and it's, um, it's such a treat to listen to you when you perform, can you talk about a little bit uh, about how piano has allowed you to connect with other TSC individuals and caregivers? I would say like, I communicate and speak through piano as a medium. So I'm able to connect with other people, but with TSA individuals and caregivers, I'm able to connect in a, on a deeper level, especially like the TSA individuals. There's like a language there and we can connect through the heart and soul. And I can see through their eyes and like their reaction after I play. And it's just such a beautiful thing. I, that, that's amazing that, that music is its own language that connects you to others. That's really inspiring. Um, I know that as a future leader, you are really trying to help uh, with peer support. So what advice do you give or have for other teens and young adults as they transition into adulthood in their TSC journey? I think I would say, try not to care what other people think. I understand it's difficult, but you are so loved and cared for and people do want to help. So don't hesitate to reach out. That's amazing. I think that's so important too, because it, it is, it makes things so much easier with TSC when you have those connections. And so thank you for highlighting that. And I know, speaking of connections, I know we're, uh, you know, we're hosting the World TSC Conference this summer. We keep talking about that. And um, I, think, uh, I think we're going to see you there. Um, what, are you, what are you excited about for, what kind of connections are you excited about making at the World TSC Conference? I'm most excited about like being united with TSC individuals and having the honor to perform piano there, which is like my strongest source to communicate and speak through and meeting all like these TSC individuals throughout around the world and communicating in that universal language is the deepest connection I could ever ask for. So I'm so grateful for the opportunity and I'm so excited to attend this July. The World Conference really um, is a medium also for people to form those bonds, those, those lifelong friendships. And, and we've seen that over and over again. It's, it's really, one of the most prolific things we, we do as an organization. I can't wait for you to witness that. Um, I wanted to ask you overall, how has the TSC Alliance been most helpful to you as an individual living with TSC? So the TSC Alliance saved my life, literally. Um, mm -hmm. TSC Alliance has helped me reach my maximum potential with your knowledge, your guidance, your support. Um, the TS Alliance has helped my mom maneuver through her way to get the best care for me for TSC since my diagnosis at six months old. 
So without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Wow. That's, that's incredible. That's incredible. Now, and I get to ask my absolute favorite question that we've been asking everybody. Um, what three words would you use to describe the TSC community? I would say loving, hopeful, and inspiring. Mm, I love that. I love that too. I also feel like those three words also describe you. So. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, this has been great chatting with you. I so appreciate getting a chance to, to do that. And thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm so grateful, Emily, for, for the time that we've been able to spend together and right after Comedy for a Cure, the most successful event in our history, we got to go celebrate together at Disneyland. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it meant so much to me to be able to spend that quality time with you even though I didn't ride on any scary rides, but um, <laughs> It's a Small World After All was great. <laughs> it was really wonderful to spend time with you. It was a wonderful time and it's one for the books. I'll never forget. All in our Mickey Mouse ears throughout the day. It was awesome. <laughs> really awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today, Emily. And we can't wait to see you in Dallas. Yes, Let's, can't wait to see you guys then. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. What a fabulous day of interviews, Lisa. I yeah. am, I'm blown away. Me too, me too. I, um, I'm, I'm always so impressed with Emily too. She's just, um, you know, another TSC young adult who is such an inspiration and, to know, you know, what she's gone through and what she does today and, and another super positive person. You know, I love hearing her talk and, and hearing her play. I'm so glad we got to talk with her. Me too. I, 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 I know I said it in her interview, but the first time I interviewed her for our Comedy for a Cure last fall and her talking about five different piano teachers, one for every day, yeah. I was like, just <laughs> the determination and drive Emily has. It's, it's, it's just incredible. Um, well, to close out, I know we want to thank our national sponsors again, which are Marinus Pharmaceuticals, Jazz Pharmaceuticals, Nobel Pharma, Ovid Therapeutics, UCB Inc., Upshur Smith Laboratories, LLC, Mass Mutual Special Care, and Bridge Bio. And Lisa, what do we have coming up over the next few days? We are going to continue with these, these lunch and learn sessions throughout the week. And so tomorrow we have Bridge Bio and uh, Pernima Senwal from the community joining us. And then on Friday, Nobel Pharma. And we have three uh, community representatives from the three in-person uh, walk locations. So we have the Huddlesons who are the raceway owners where the LA Walk is being hosted. We have Cassie, known as Cassie the Ambassador uh, from Dallas and Jack Lyons from uh, Pennsylvania. So really exciting two days ahead. Um, so please tune in and join us and we'll be here. Excellent. Thank you everybody for making today so, so special. And be sure to go check out that virtual auction where I will be beating Lisa Moss for auction. <laughs> I'm going to go there right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.